Hello everyone, my name is Chief Lalas and I'm back once again bringing you guys some more Halo 4 news and information. This time I got a bunch of stuff about the Halo Waypoint Bulletin that was just released covering a few left unanswered questions for Halo 4 so I'll get to those. But we have the big news today and that is competitive skill ranking system will be in Halo 4. Yes, I kind of talked about it in my previous video there, they were hinting at it because... Let me just give you guys the lowdown. My previous video, they announced that there will be a skill ranking system in the background. So some sort of algorithm, basically a mathematical calculation running around in the background, but not visible to us. So there'll be no number one, number two to le rank level 50 being displayed in Halo 4 next year profile. But fast forward like 24 hours later, they finally released an article saying that there will be a visual representation, a competitive skill rank, a true ranking system, true skill ranking system rather, in Halo 4. But the catch is, it's not going to be available at launch day. Now they they said this, so they want to get it right, so they're still working on it, which is, is great that they still are. So what they're going to basically do is you're going to release it through title update later on throughout, the, um, uh, I guess, the beginning of uh, 2013 that are expecting. So around then, there will be an update. So it's uh, basically the ranking system that we've all known and loved from basically Halo 3. It's uh, a ranking system from 1 to 50 in specific competitive playlists. So that means you'll have a specific, what they call it, CSR, competitive skill rank. They, they just call it CSR, so let's call it like that for now. You'll have a CSR rank and CTF, and you'll have a separate CSR rank and, say, um, some sort of pro slayer uh, type competitive playlist. So, there's going to be different ones, and it's going to be ranking accordingly to your true skill. So, this is pretty much exactly like Halo 3, where, you know, you're bouncing around different ranking systems for different playlists. But they haven't even released a list on what playlists will be affected by this uh, CSR rank. So, I don't know what what this means, because a lot of them were actually saying that they didn't really want some sort of visual representation. That was This is going back to my previous video from uh, the 343 broadcast. They said they didn't want a visual representation of the um, this sort of true skill ranking system, because... They found out a lot of people abused it and that they only focused on that and rather than just enjoying the game and having fun. And then of course that led to lots of people boosting, trying to affect their uh, true ranking system and try to, you know, obviously try to benefit themselves in the long run. So basically abusing the system. So now they basically almost went back on their word and they just want to say, hey, sometime in the beginning of the next year, we will be uh, re releasing our competitive skill ranking system. So I'm, I'm kind of scratching my head. It's like they're, they're kind of going back on their word, although they did say that they're way, working on a way to visually represent, visually represent it. But now they just kind of went gung-ho and went for it. So... I'm not entirely sure. I know a lot of people are, are like, oh man, I hate the Halo Reach ranking system. Oh man, I wish it was back to Halo 3, Halo 2, and there's a lot of people that are like, oh, true ranking, true skill ranking system, it doesn't seem for me. So, I'm not entirely sure where I stand on the matter. I'm a little disappointed that they kind of quickly went back on their word. I was, kind of, I was looking forward to this true skill ranking system in the background and not having to visually see it or give a crap about it because, I, you know, sometimes you kind of, it does, it did affect your mood back in Halo 3 when you, you did poorly and you saw the number go down. It's like, oh man, really? But I, I was looking forward to not really having to worry about it and just continuing to play the game. So, I don't know. Leave me your guys' thoughts down below. It is a true skill ranking system from levels 1 to 50 for certain competitive playlists, and those playlists will be announced when they announce the, uh, the, the ranking system in the beginning of 2013. Now let's move on to the little miscellaneous news bits from Halo Waypoint. From the Halo Waypoint Bulletin, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to read it at your own time, at your own pace, but I'll just fire off some of the stuff quickly. One of the questions was, what playlists are going to be available at launch? And they replied with, there will be Infinity Slayer 4v4, so that Slayer game type where you earn point streaks to call in your own personal ordinance. We've seen a lot of this lately, especially with all those pre-release Halo 4 streams right now, as Infinity Slayer seems to be the only, one of the few playlists populated right now pre-released for Halo 4. They also said the big team Infinity Slayer, 8v8. There will be Dominion, 6v6, which is that fortress sort of uh, attack and defend type base game style. I, I'll put a link down below in the description as well explaining Dominion in more detail, but so you can go check that out because I did a video solely on Dominion. We'll have Regicide, which is the six player free for all, which basically has whoever's in first has got a big bounty on his head. There's also going to be Flood on the first day as well up with 10 players. 
Capture the Flag 5v5, Oddball 5v5, King of the Hill 5v5, and Team Slayer Pro 4v4, which Team Slayer Pro things have been set a little bit differently compared to all the other playlists. The player movement, reload, and weapon slot speed is set to 110%, so only 10% increase from the other playlists. Friendly fires on, score to win is 60, and there will be no map loadouts, so no predetermined uh, default map loadouts. For those who do not know, when you first hop into Halo 4, you only have one loadout to start off with because they have a low rank. So they're going to be generating default loadouts for you guys, depending on the playlist and the map. So there will be unique loadouts assigned to those maps so you can either choose those or the ones that you've created uh, with your own spartan uh, as you level up so yes there will be no map loadouts for team slayer pro and no custom loadouts so this will be for you guys that do not want any of this fancy loadout stuff just go on over to team slayer pro it's like you know straight up bare minimum halo regular regular halo multiplayer game Another big news, they asked there will be any UNSC flying vehicle in multiplayer and they quickly said no, there will be no flying vehicle. This means no Hornets, no Falcon, none of that, no broadsword, so most of these things that we have seen of UNSC flying vehicles will be in the campaign and that's all they said to us that there will be some options in the campaign. And for those who have played the campaign, please do not spoil it for the people in my comment section, including myself. I have not played it, I do not have Halo 4 quite yet, I, I wish I could have gotten a pre-release copy, but that's just the way things roll, I will be attending my midnight release, so please do not spoil anything regarding the campaign. Also they asked, can sprint be disabled? Currently it cannot be disabled, but you can, I guess, reduce those speed traits for your player, you know, reloading and movement speed, so it will be a little bit similar, but sprinting will still be existence in Halo 4. They did say that theater mode will not be available for a campaign, so you cannot use theater mode to go back and view your campaign experience at the moment. They're still working on that, that might be coming out in some sort of title update, they just didn't make the cut due to time restraints. But the question also asked, will it be theater mode be available for spartan ops and they completely avoided that question so either no or in the future now to clarify the two discs that will be coming in your copy of halo 4 as a lot of people were confused on which one to install to their hard drive essentially disc one contains campaign and will be your general boot up disc whereas disc two contains multiplayer but you cannot play multiplayer on disc two it is an installation disc you pop it in you let it install you watch the progress bar and then you pop in disc one and you never have to touch disc two again so i recommend installing to hard drive your disc number one to increase optimal load time now i have some good news for you guys who pre-ordered from GameStop or EB Games. Now we all know for us when we pre-ordered we got a pre-order bonus which is the Arctic Weapon Skin for the BR and now they actually have confirmed that when since we have this we'll get access to the battle rifle right at launch date as opposed to regular players who do not have this pre-order bonus they'll have to reach level 2 SR2 and spend a Spartan point to then purchase the battle rifle to use in their loadouts. So we have saved the time from reaching level 2 which won't really take that long at all but we don't have to reach level two and we don't have to spend a spartan point and again for those that do not know a spartan point is rewarded to you every time you level up and you use it to purchase items such as weapons grenades and armor abilities tactical packages and support upgrades i will hopefully have a video for you guys explaining the loadouts and the requirements you need to meet to unlock certain items within the loadout menu eventually once i have my list of information complete i'm still waiting to find out further information about certain things so other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is gonna be one of the last remaining halo 4 news videos on my channel as halo 4 is soon to come i hope to see you guys next time thank you guys so much for your support if you want to leave a like or a favorite it greatly helps out my channel my name is chief lalas and i'm signing out.